I don't think we've ever eaten as much seafood in our entire lives. <laughs> it was good. There's just a lot there and a lot of things we don't normally eat. Um, we ate a straight up clam. Yeah. Where is it? There it is. It tasted like if you were to make a gum out of the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> But the mussels were really good. Jacob really liked the octopus. It was not a good night in the Warren hotel room. It was awful. How do you feel? We were both throwing up all night. I mean, we're pretty sure that we got food poisoning from the seafood we ate last night. And I ate more of the seafood, so I threw up. I started throwing up sooner, and I'm still feeling awful. We couldn't even get out of bed. <sighs> so, oh, I also did, I didn't tell you this, but I think I just got bit by a spider, like, while I was laying in bed. What? So. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that's fun. So, so many. Travel so many. isn't always perfect. Normally food poisoning really isn't that big of a deal. I think it was just kind of scary because we're in this country that we've never been to before. We don't know doctors or what medicine looks like here. And I'm sure they would have taken great care of us if we needed it. Um, it's just always a little bit harder when you're in a different country and you don't know the way things work here. Um, so I really am hoping that it just is food poisoning and nothing else just been you know a bad morning and afternoon just can hardly get out of bed and i know that this probably won't last for very long so i should be like fully healthy tomorrow um i mean i, I think that's pretty typical with food poisoning but um just getting enough energy to even talk to the camera right now is kind of difficult really sad we had to cancel horseback riding and then we were supposed to go to La Fortuna waterfall as well um I guess I'm just thinking like this is traveling and you hope everything's gonna work out perfectly the way you planned it but it usually doesn't yeah um you just have to be really flexible you know you can get food poisoning anywhere like it has nothing to do with Costa Rica or probably even this hotel. It's just that, you know, it happened and it can happen anywhere. But oh, I thought we were going to have a good trip with no sicknesses. Went to Europe, I got E. coli. Went to Mexico, I got some weird infection or sting on my legs. And I was really gunning for Costa Rica. It's okay. I mean, you, like I said, you just have to be flexible and like, you know, you are in a foreign place. Like it's more likely that you will get some sort of sickness. Yeah. Our um, bodies just aren't used to the environment here or the food here. And, but I mean, that's okay. There's going to be challenges, but I think that, you know, we're, we're going to work through them and you know, we still love traveling and we want to keep doing it. And you know, this, it's just, this just comes with it. You can't be in control a lot of the times when you're traveling because I mean, it could rain or it could snow or I mean, natural things can happen. You get sick. Like there's just so much and that's part of kind of riding the highs and lows of traveling. I think like traveling is so good for that because it helps you like you're in a different place. You don't know where the hospitals are. You don't have your regular doctor here when it comes to stuff like this. So you really just have to release, yeah, release the control and just, I feel like that's actually, I have a love hate relationship with it because I learn the most and I grow the most as a person and in my faith with God while we're traveling, but it also can just be so dang frustrating sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I just want to go and explore, but yeah. hopefully we'll have uh, some better news tomorrow and we'll be on the road again to the cloud forest and 
I'm really sad we didn't get to do our adventures today, but obviously our health and Jacob not feeling good is the most important. So we're just gonna rest and yeah. Okay, I feel like that video ended on a really somber note and we're not that negative. <laughs> Normally, we are just really excited for today, but I'm trying to make the most of it while Jacob is inside resting. I'm working on our beautiful patio and it's raining and where we live in Arizona, it pretty much never rains. So I'm just gonna enjoy editing outside in the rain, something that I usually don't get to do. Just try to look at the bright side about this and you know, everything happens for a reason. Maybe something even worse is gonna happen when we are out on the tours hiking the waterfall and everything. So I'm just trying to stay positive. So yeah, I'm just hoping that Jacob will be okay tomorrow. I'm thankful that I'm feeling a lot better um, than I was throughout the night throwing up. So I'm just gonna edit outside and enjoy the rain and try to focus on all the amazing things that are happening. Okay, but really with a view like this, I can't even be that upset that we couldn't do the things that we had planned today because this is still gorgeous and I love sitting in the rain. So it's all right. <laughs>